Hades is such a great game. Lots of visual feedback, lots of flashing, lots of action, lots of moving around. And I've been playing it far too much lately. It's an inspiration for my own game, which currently looks like this. Well, alright, not quite like that. More like this. This is a devlog updating you on the progress of my game. It's actually quite fun to play right now, but it's still a lot of work left to do. I've put out a really early build for people to test, and they've indeed come back and given us loads of information about how we can improve the game, and that's enabled me to analyse information and go deep. Well, kinda. Look, at this stage of the game development, it's all about finding out whether the idea works. And the initial feedback was things like, yeah, it's a bit slow, the enemies need to be more aggressive, you're missing colliders, and all that's obvious stuff. But listening to the players and playing it takes me to profit, and the team, which by the way is just me, but this is how I imagine it, really appreciate the work. So I sat down and started adding in some new features. The first thing that I wanted to do is add a spell system. Now, I'm using top-down engine, which doesn't have anything like a spell system in so I had to build that from scratch. I started out with an attack spell, here's one that turns the floor to lava, and a heal spell which will cause the player to add some health to themselves. This system worked really well in the first version but everything was hard coded in the code itself so this time around I built a system that allowed me to configure it from scriptable objects. And so now I can create new spells really quickly, like this one that draws down mana from the surrounding environment. And when you've got plenty of mana, ones like this one, which allow you to slow down enemies. So we've got everything we need now to create a whole library of spells for the player. So let's have a look at how that happens. Let's go into our spells folder and we're going to right click, create wizard code, Mindyab abilities, spells, and this one's going to be a melee spell. So we're going to do two things with this spell. We're going to increase the damage and we're going to increase the knockback. So this is kind of like a powerful spell that brings two spells together. I already have an increased damage and an increased knockback, so it's going to be really simple for me to create this. So I'm going to take the increased knockback and drop that in as an effect, and increase damage as an effect. Let's have a quick look at what they are. They're scriptable objects again, and these define how long it takes, how much impact it has on the uh, ability, and so on. And then we have to set a few things up like the mana cost. This one's going to be quite expensive. Let's make it a nine and a duration of two. So it's going to take two seconds to cast it. The effects may go on longer. We're going to prevent moving. And then we're going to need a visual effect. So we're just going to reuse the knockback one for now. I would make up a, a visual effect for this for the final version. And in our icon slot, we're going to need something to show up in the UI. So again, we'll just quickly use reuse the knockback icon. And then the last thing we need to do is assign that to the player so that the player can actually use it. To do that, we simply take our spell definition and drop it into our abilities slots. So once we've started up, we now have our knockback spell. Let's see what it's like without the spell. Not much knockback there at all. Let's cast the spell and hit him. And there you go. You can see it's really exaggerated so you can see it happening. But by building these tools, it makes it possible for us to really quickly, really easy churn out new features in the game, or in this case, new spells in the game. So this is the first version that I put up for people to test and play with. Um, I actually have done a whole bunch more work on it since then. We're two versions further on than this. It's still really early days. It's still a simple game with very few enemies and very little gameplay. There's maybe 10 minutes in it at the moment. But it's got a complete game loop and I would love your feedback on it. I'd love to understand how you think I can improve the game. I'd also like to hear what you'd like to know more about, more detail about what I talk about in here. For example, do you like the adaptive audio? It's a new skill I've just learned. Should I do a video on it? Let me know in the comments. See you soon.